Hey guys, so I just wanted to share this real quick. So this is a Kanakit uh, mini keyboard um, and it comes with a, a little trackpad here. Um, you, you can tap the, you can like right and left click with the, the trackpad or with these uh, these specific um, right and left mouse buttons. There's a lot of special extra keys and junk uh, and all the normal stuff you would expect in a keyboard. Um, this one has actually been in my closet for like years and years and I, I hadn't used it. So when I took it out and, and finally decided I wanted to do something with it, the battery was actually dead. So that's why you see it plugged in right now and no battery in it. So I, I can pop the battery in here and um, you know, you can close it up like this. This is what it would look like if you closed it up. But um, but this is, uh, it, it's not gonna charge. So you have the red button there showing that it's plugged in, but it's, it's never gonna charge the battery no matter how long I leave it in there. So I'm assuming the battery is dead. I've actually ordered a new battery and I'm gonna see how that works out. But this is what the battery looks like. It seems to be, from what I can tell, it's the same type of battery used in a lot of Nokia phones. Um, I searched for this and came up with some other model that matches it on Amazon. So I've put an order in for that and I'm gonna try replacing the battery and see if I can get that to work. But for now, it works for testing things. If I just, I basically have to have this plugged in for power. This is not for keyboard control. This thing comes with a, a little USB dongle. So I pulled this little USB dongle out of here that looks, it looks like a really, really small thumb drive. And I just plugged that into the back of my PC to test it out. And it is, uh, it works fine. So this is basically controlling my PC over, or you know, acting as a keyboard and mouse for my PC over Bluetooth. So this is Bluetooth. And um, yeah, so it's communicating over Bluetooth and just getting power from this cable here. Now, if, the, if I had a working battery, I would be able to just charge it and then pull this out and it would still work great. Um, yeah, so really what this is useful for, right now it's plugged into my PC just for testing, but this is useful for, for use with things like Raspberry Pis and other single board computers, stuff like that. You could also use it with a tablet or with your phone. Um, you, know, you know, that might be a little bit more tricky with the USB dongle and everything. Um, I'm not sure if it can, if you can sync this up. I haven't even tried syncing this up without the dongle. And I imagine it's theoretically possible to plug the dongle into like a USB adapter for your phone or tablet, but I have not attempted that. I might attempt that. I might make another video about that or something. But any case, what this is really good for is use with a Raspberry Pi, especially if it's something that you don't have set up to use, like, like if it's something that's controlling a project or something and you just want to occasionally access it to do maintenance on it or something every now and then, um, this is pretty handy to have. And even if you're using it as like an everyday thing to control it, that, it's still just a overall really handy thing to do if you're doing much with uh, Raspberry Pis and single board computers. So neat, useful thing to have. I'm gonna try to put a link to where you can pick this up on Amazon in the description of this video if you wanna check that link out. And I might put a few other links in there too for similar useful things whether it be Raspberry Pis or alternate keyboards instead of this one. Um, I'm gonna check what's still available because I bought this a really long time ago. I'll check what's still available and throw some links in the description. But um, yeah, I just wanted to share this with you guys. And um, if I do successfully replace the battery, if the battery I buy actually turns out to be working, which I'm pretty sure it is, I'm gonna make another video about that coming up in a little bit. Um, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell icon. Otherwise, YouTube's not going to let you know when we come out with new videos. You're not going to want to miss a lot of the content we have coming up. We cover a lot of um, single board computer related stuff, electronics, coding, you know, servers, Linux, Windows. We cover like all the OSs, even Mac OS. Uh, we just cover anything tech related, you know, robots, 3D printing, networking, all that good stuff. So if you want more of that, you know, whether it be like Python, um, Java, JavaScript, uh, C++, whatever, whatever different stuff you're into, we, we cover like the whole range of all that stuff. Um, you know, command line secrets and all that useful stuff. So you don't want to miss out on all that. So uh, yeah, definitely hit that subscribe button and the bell icon. And uh, you might want to think about giving me a thumbs up, but uh, more importantly, just leave a you know leave a comment down below if you know something that I don't know just leave a comment down below I'm um, not just for me for the next person that comes along but um yeah if you have also if you have any comments questions criticisms anything you want to say we do want to hear it so definitely leave a comment and um, that's about it for today so as always thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on that next video